Hi friends, good morning. Today we will see how we can configure a SSH port forwarding in Putty. So today's demonstration is on Oracle Cloud. This is a generic use case, so you can use the same setup in any cloud or even on-prem. Okay, so let's see the architectural diagram. So you can see here we have OCA region. Inside this OCA we have a VCN and the CIDR block is 192.168.0.0/16. Okay, inside this VCN we have two subnets in two different availability domain. Subnet A is called 192.168.1.0/24. Okay, in subnet B we have 192.168.5.0/24. In first subnet, we host a VM that is called Bastion Server. Okay. And the second subnet, we have application, and this application is running on AT. In addition to that, we have identity management system, auditing, internet gateway, and this is a user. So, user trying to access this application, which is in private subnet. Okay. Using the local port 8000. So the user can access 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 that is localhost colon 8000. He or she can access the application that is run, running on a private subnet in his laptop. Okay, so let's see. So here we have configured the subnets and everything in OC. It's very easy. And we do have open only the required port. Okay, so let's go to OCI console okay so this is the oci console so let me choose my region for this demo for the sake of time i have already created the setup in oci it's very straightforward so let me first show you the networking the vcn first so here you can see our demo vcn the cider block inside this you can see two subnets as I mentioned in my diagram, okay. And these subnets have security list. As you can see, I have opened the necessary ports and all. Okay. And now I will show you the compute instance. So here, Bastion, which has a public IP, okay but the app server it has no public ip only the private ip is available okay so now i will going to log into the bastion first so the username is opc okay this is my key okay so let me change to root and this is the server which we have created the application server 192.168.5.252 5.252 okay so i need to make sure that at is listening okay so i changing to the directory temp then just checking wget localhost okay i can see one index file is downloaded so let me open it okay i am application server and it has the ip from private subnet okay so this is the application server itself so this means that from locally it's listening so let me log out from the app server now this is the bastion server let me move to the temp directory and i am trying to access the application server ip over here so from the bastion uh, i have opened the port 80 so this will work okay i can see a file is downloaded so let me open it yes the same file okay so now I need to access um, from my local machine 
okay giving 127.0 dot zero dot yeah 8000 so now it's not working so actually i need to access the application okay which is running on law on server port 80 on my local 8000 8, so how we can do that so for that i need to create a tunnel and port forwarding right so i'm opening the putty so here i am giving opc at my ip okay then coming here ssh auth i am placing my key and here below you can see tunnel right so here source port you need to put 8000 because it should be from my local right and the destination so we know that our vm has a local ip right 192.168.5.252 and it is listening on port 80 and this local auto keep it like that so this means that from my local machine in this laptop 8000 port will be listening and this service will be listening over there so don't forget to make click on the add so now this is okay and login so make sure that this putty session should be on then only you can access the service else the tunnel will break so i am going to minimize this and from here when i hit enter i could see the page that you have seen over there see so like this method you can access your private resources to your local machine like this so another use case is if you have a database server or on a lamp stack for example a lamp stack the lamp stack how both 443 port is open for web and database 3306 is restricted it's blocked right so in that case what you can do is you can able to create the tunnel instead of that ip you can put local host colon 3306 so then you can do the tunnel initiation and you can access the mysql port from your local machine i hope you everyone enjoyed this video and this is very useful so please subscribe our channel and stay tuned for next videos thank you have a good day